Hello, I'm Entrilitim, and welcome to a new series of RimWorld. This is RimWorld Alpha 13, of course, and this time we are running mods. Oh, yes. Quite a few mods, actually. If you want the full details, either you could, like, pause it here or look down below in the description for a list of mods. People will always ask that. People will ask that in many series and episodes to come. The link will be below, as it normally is. So, we're going to first of all create a world. Now, people have said that they want to see the world creation so that they can create the same world and play on the same map and presumably do a lot better than me. So, our seed is going to be... Seedy McSeederson. Yes, I come with these on the spot. You can tell. Let's generate. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, we have uh, a lovely large ice sheet, followed by, you know, a fair area of uh, flat temperate forest, big bit of desert, some boreal forest, uh, some tropical rainforest, and some arid shrubland. Lovely. Now, picking where we're going to start, I'm thinking... By the way, if you're wondering what these are... There are a few more factions added by some of those mods. For instance, the Federation Peacekeeper Corps, who you do not want to fight. They are dangerous. There's a pirate band over there. Orion Corporation. Ooh. Feral Clan. Yeah, I don't want to fight those either. Uh, I think what we'll do this time around... We'll try a Boreal Forest. Sounds like fun. We'll have something with a minimal growing period. Now, a lot of the mods I've installed do make it a little bit harder in some ways, so I'm going to be careful not to make it too hard, because I do want to up the difficulty setting. But what we'll do is we'll probably go for... First, some of the... No, it gives me only 10 days of growing. I guess we are up in Tundra there. No, I don't want to be in Tundra. Is there any ice sheet here? Interesting, the ice sheet's actually central. Odd. Uh, we're going to go for something with a boreal forest, just so we've got a few trees to play with. A length of string to the first of four. Mountainous. Slate, granite, sounds... That sounds pretty good. So what is that? It's basically dead center, top, mountain spur next to the big lake. Yeah. We'll probably do it there. This is Shadir Kosora from C.D. McSederson. We'll save this and finish. Okay, so I'm going to load up a new colony. And we're going to go for... And I haven't actually decided this. I am... I'm debating what we should go for. Cassandra. Yeah, we'll do Cassandra Extreme. Why not? I'm going to regret this. Yeah, we'll do Cassandra Extreme. If you're wondering what these are, this is someone who basically, like slow lets you into the game and then kills you later on like they're much more of a cautious until you get to a certain strength and then suddenly they hit you stuff uh, this person prefers events to fights and this person prefers fights to events I want a nice bounce of both uh, fights and events so while these are now included in the game because of the mods I've installed I'm not going to be using them just because I want to have a balanced uh, amount of fights and events so we're going to go Cassandra and we'll go to extreme and the reason I'm not doing random extreme is because random extreme will occasionally just be like ha screw you and then you just die like, there, there is nothing beyond that. Uh, Randy, like, rough or something will be like, ah, lots. But a lot of the time will just be, eh, it's a guy. Eh, it's a guy. So I'm going to do Cassandra, which will at least balance it somewhat based off of us. And we're going to go all the way to extreme. So we're going to have to make sure we prep for combat. Because it's going to be rough. And we're using Shadira Corsa. Kasora. Kasora, that's the one. Right. We're going to start... Um, marble, slate, limestone, slate, marble, sandstone, yeah, we'll go here, screw it, why not? Uh, we definitely have temperature problems, so we do need to get our power online fairly early, in addition to getting power online fairly early, we're going to need to be able to uh, grow as many crops as possible really early on, and we're also going to need to get some defenses early on because of the difficulty, which means I'm going to need a shooty person, I am going to need a constructive person and a grow person as, like, priorities. So, select the site. And I'm probably going to regret this. Uh, EDB, 
uh, prepare carefully, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of the mods I normally use. Uh, isn't yet updated. It's partially updated, but it's still in the beta phase, and I decided I didn't want to risk installing it if it's only in a beta phase. I'm going to start playing around with the characters, and I'll show you them once I've done all the randomization, because I want to try and get a good mix. Okay, so welcome to our team. We have Sakuli, who used to be a shelter child, then became a geologist. Uh, she grew up in a toxic world, she received a comprehensive education, but no opportunity to do physical labor. And, you know, after growing up in such a toxic world, she didn't really manage to get out much. She really wanted to learn about, you know, rock morphology and stuff, because they spent a lot of time in the tunnels on her world. And, of course, you know, she was very much uh, an intellectual, and she really wanted to learn about how they tunneled and how they built in different places. And, of course, their very survival depended on the rock morphology. If the rock, you know, caves in or whatever, not only is the caving going to be fatal, but the, the gas from the world itself is toxic. So, obviously, Sakuli decided to be a geologist because of that. Uh, masochistic. You know, maybe just being brought up underground in a kind of weird situation with uh, a lot of people around and constant, you know, hardship and toil. Maybe it's kind of unhinged a little bit. Steadfast, though. Maybe, you know, the diversity really has uh, been fine. Uh, 52. About double that for uh, chronological age. She's okay. Right leg's got a stab scar. But uh, other than that, she's basically going to be in charge of our social, medicine, mining, crafting and research. She's also got quite a few, uh, uh, passions, what they call it, interested, yes. Burning. So that's quite nice. Also, Goose Pig, the inventor, was a construction grunt. Uh, growing up in his father's lab, Jackson was given a life of intellectual, uh, elite. He was ne- uh, he got everything he desired, and the price was never an object. However, Jackson did not pay take the luxury given to him. Instead, he pursued more physical and, in his father's eyes, lower class jobs. Uh, so he gets a load of construction and stuff. Um, he then became a military inventor. Uh, in a final act of rebellion, left his father's lab and joined the local Imperial military. He used his laboratory skills to design war, uh, machines of war, as he was one of the best on his planet. Um, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, his father was on the other side, propping up the global elite, and he went and uh, supported the new regime and uh, built weapons of war for them uh, to take on his father's uh, backed um, corporation sort of overlords. Uh, he's a jogger, psychically dull, pessimistic. Honestly, oh, jogger's such a good trait. Uh, construction 12, crafting 9, research 10, social 11. Again, good on the social and, you know, fairly good on the research. Shooting 5, mm, uh, 59, about double that chronologically, getting thrail. So we're looking a little bit on the older side for our group, especially when you consider resonance is also 50, uh, 63. Um... A bit of a bite scar on the leg. Was a test subject and became a medieval farmer. Obviously, the test didn't go that well, and the, effectively, the, the batch of test subjects just got sold off as slaves to a, uh, a medieval world. This medieval world, you know, we used them as farmers uh, for a while. Greedy. Sanguine. That's good. Uh, eight, with a good you know, desire to learn more. Uh, animal seven, so you're going to be our animal handler. No social, not that we really need it with the other two. Um, Growing 11, mining 10. So you're going to be in charge of uh, mining stuff and in charge of planting stuff. You can't do growing. You can do growing three. So you're probably, since you can do mining, probably going to make you like a dedicated grower and then other stuff after that. But we're ready to dive right in. Let's get going. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagus to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world as pieces of the shredded starship, shredded starship, starship, as pieces of the shredded starship fall around you. You start making plans to survive. Okay, goose pig. Are you wearing nothing? You're wearing pants. That's a start. Okay. This... Oh my god, this place is nearly all mountain. This is actually going to be fairly rough. This is actually really rough. So much mountain around here. Okay. Well, I have to say, the only real choice, I think is going to be to wall off this, which is going to be difficult because this is marsh and I can't build on marsh. Uh, maybe wall off over here. And then build in here. This is actually going to be a fairly tough map to crack. 
just so much. I was hoping to build more out in the open. I know I picked a mountain, but my god, this is incredibly mountainous. Um, now, bonus is if I manage to wall this off, I get a geothermal vent to myself. What are you? Stan sandstone. Okay, we've got compact machinery here. We've got, what else do we have? We have some compacted steel there. Silver ore there. I've got some food in there as well. Okay, so first order of business is mine this out. And that's also, oop, hello manager. No, I don't want you. I want work. There we go. Manual priorities. Firefighting has to be number one. Doctoring also number one. Uh, no, you shouldn't do doctoring. Patienting one, two, one. Then negotiating one. Negotiating two. One, one. Just make sure you do all the rest. We don't want them forgetting their tasks. Then, because you're a miner, one, miner, one, then mine. Um, smithing, one, tailor, one, craft, one. Actually, two. I want you to do crafting first. Then research, two, two. I'm actually not bad at these. You're a nine. I guess you can do these as a two before the research. You are two in these as well. Okay. That should be fine. Although, that said, we should really have um, hauling as a priority. So, get you to do the hauling. And cleaning. Um, and flick. Everyone should be a one for flick. Right. So, who is my main miner? Uh, Sukuli. Now, let's also check. Did I assign them hunting? I did. I'm going to remove hunting from them for a second. All right, Sukuli. Five. Five. Eight. All right, you get the assault rifle. It's not assault rifle, it's a hunting rifle. Four. One. Right, well, you can have the pistol. Wherever the hell the pistol is. There it is. And you can have the knife. Now, the reason you're having the knife is also you're masochistic, so you'll get happy when you're in combat and getting stabbed. For whatever reason. Um, Resonance can do the mining. Oh, goose pigs. Yeah, goose pig, you're not great at mining. Right. Order. Chop wood. Now, the reason I'm chopping wood is I want to travel through this little area faster. Right, let's start hauling stuff. Anything I've missed? Oh, components. And wood. Right, temperature outside is 15. Okay, first order of business. We need to deconstruct that. We then need to haul the crap here. We also need to deconstruct that. And we need to plant some good farming areas. Now, in terms of good farming area, soil, rough sandstone. Lichen covered dirt. What's our best growing area? Do we have a, like a better growing area? Hmm. It's fine. We can always tile it with one of the mods that allows you to do tileable soil of some sort. Um, what's it called? Furrowed earth or something? Okay. We need to set up defenses along here. Mine that out. So it's not in the way. Um, we'll use this. We need to haul that. We need to get some more wood to set up some buildings. So, for now, order, structure, steel wall, wood. I guess I'll set it up here. Yeah, we'll set it up here. Okay, and that's going to be our 
room. So for now, I just want them to make... Well, it's going to be like the cook room. And the cook room can be here. So it'll be like a kitchen. So we want wood door, way into the kitchen. And then uh, we'll have a door here as well. Actually, because I'm probably going to end up splitting this into hallway. Let's make it wooden wall. Put the wood door about here. Right. We also need a place to put food, a place to put stuff, and a place to start doing uh, growing. We need a lot of growing. We need to grow as much as possible. So, orders, zone, growing zone. So if we start, I'm probably going to extend this eventually to go to about here. Start here. Okay, that's potatoes. That's corn. That's rice. Also, zone. Oop. It's a dumping stockpile. And since we've got a load of our stuff over here. Ooh, hello. Compacted plasteel. I was going to put the dumping stockpile there, but for now, I might want to get to that later. Put our dumping stockpile up here. Eventually, when we actually start dumping bodies in there, we're going to move it. But for now, this is good. And yeah, just dump everything in there for the moment. And then main stockpile. Here. And then orders will need to chop some trees. So chop wood. Because we're going to need to be able to have a lot of wood available for our walls. Um, we also need to chop any wood that's on these areas. Although I think they'll clear them automatically, but... I'll do that, just because, you know, I feel like it. Also, get rid of that. Oh. It's not fully grown. Um, and yeah, we'll chop the wood there to be able to get a good uh, firing line. Okay, that's probably plenty enough for now. Let's get things going. Cuddles, the female wag. Okay, well, we'll train you for obedience. Oh, there are cougars. Female, male. Oh, we can breed them. What do you do for damage? Nice. That's a good amount of damage. I really wish there were bears. There aren't any bears. There should be bears. Come on, boreal forest. There'll be bears here. Elk. I'm going to have to purchase some bears and breed them. Now, I'm not going to get them just yet. I've got other jobs to do, but I would like to get them later. Roof collapse. Oh. Yeah, didn't really expect uh, there to be a roof there. What does a ship chunk turn into? Components and steel. Yeah, I thought we might do. That build speed. That's really useful. I'm actually going to take you off obedience training. We've got other stuff to do. And I also don't want to end up like feeding you packaged meals to like just teach you obedience. It's a bit of a waste. I hope we'll get that done before nightfall. It's getting on though. It's already 4 p.m. Come on, so close.
Build this pit. Go on. You know you want to. Okay, you know, you could do all the trees. There's one more tree after that. There we go. No. <laughs> God damn it. Goose pig. Just work on this, then you can actually have an indoor place. Gonna make you work on all of them. Right, and then... Furniture. So not that it's a lot better. At least it's inside. And that is our first night in RimWorld. I'm looking forward to it. It's a shame there's no bears. Definitely a shame there's no bears. But I'm definitely planning on buying some when we can and breeding them. Um, at least we've got, you know, a few muffalo. The issue is with the little, like, amount of land that we've got is, well, a couple of things. Firstly, we're going to have to deal with the lack of uh, global area, the lack of hunting, which can be used if you screw up your growing. And also, we're going to need to dig, and when we dig, we encounter bugs. And I don't want to encounter bugs. Let's just say the last time I encountered bugs, it went badly. Very badly. Is anyone who was watching the stream can attest to? Um, let me just give them an order to haul that crap away. In fact, let's just haul all that crap away from the front. Yeah. And that, because they'll use it as cover. I know there's a lot of jobs being done right now. Uh, but yeah, if you've liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know what you think about this so far. Um... I know you already haven't seen much of the mods or the difficulty as yet, but don't worry. All that fun stuff is coming, and I realize we've got a uh, back way into our base. I'm leaving that open for the moment because we've got a lot of stuff to haul. But I'm going to have to try and remember to uh, close that up as much as possible, which will be fun. Anyway, till next time, let me know down below and stay shiny.